Hey, basically, this is a movie review of uh, Forgotten Gems. Now, uh, if you can if you missed it, you might have missed what. And, and I'm just gonna tell you what are some good movies that you might have missed. This is with honors. This is probably like 1993. It's about a bum and some Harvard kids. Um, basically, um, it's it just tells a tale of you know, uh, you know the the kids fall in love with the uh, the bum. The bum has a u uniqueness to himself, and it shows kind of a relationship development. And a connection with um, the way they think. They think more alike than they thought they would. Would probably be a good aspect. But it gives a good learning lesson. It, it A good trilogy on just uh, life. Um, the way life is or the way people think. Then I got this one, Limitless. If you did miss this one, you definitely got to watch this one because it's awesome. It's about, basically, there's a drug out there uh, that, uh, well, I guess they take a pill and then your brain increases in uh, mass size and your intelligence. And everybody's fighting for this um, or drug. and it's um, But it's not a drug drug. It, it's more of a pharmaceutical thing. But um, it just, it, it, it really, really is interesting because it's a thing in the future that there would be a pill such as this that increases your brain capacity. It seems very uh, possible in my viewpoint. So that's why it, it definitely is interesting and does hook you in. Um, um, the movie, which is definitely one one of the best movies I've ever seen. Then I got The Green Mile, which is a really, really good movie about uh, death row inmates in the 30s. And then the uh, guards, the prison guards for those death row inmates. And just the differences in personalities. You know, some, some people in the prison on death row are good, are not bad, that bad. Some people on death row are crazy. Some people, some of the uh, guards were crazy, so and some of the guards were real, uh, good guards, um, prison guards. But it's just uh, more enlightening. Um, it's got a little bit of, a, uh, I don't, I don't know how to say it, but a light, um, uh, just a little uh, like a magic, um, a little bit of a spiritual aspect to it. Um, that is really good and appealing, and if you did miss it, it's definitely worth a watch. Definitely. I don't recommend it. Any movie I recommend on here is worth watching. You are never wasting your time. Then there's Savages. Okay, now this used to be... The ones I got was in green, but I don't know this one I got in red. But I rebought this. I have watched this... Oh, God. Five times. Um, if I'm just on a reg regular day... I got nothing to watch. I'll pop it in. It's basically about two brother and sister that have to deal with parent uh, going into a nursing home. Um, you know, the situation of their uh, parent having um, dementia. And uh, just basically them trying to cope with and finding a place for him to live and uh, dealing with all these problems within with. In America, this is a very, very common occurrence that uh, people go through. So, and it's just really um, a real, really good film. It's gotten more um, uh, film festival awards than any movie I've ever seen, to be quite honest with you. And it just, it's a great little film with a great story. And it's definitely worth the watch. And then I got this one called Envy. It's really old. Um, uh, Jack Black and uh, Ben Stiller look like they're 25 in it, basically. But uh, it's just about... Uh, it's really funny. It's hilarious. It's uh, it's It just basically comes down to Ben Stiller 
and Jack Black, um, Jack Black invents something that Ben Stiller could have invested in, but, uh, he thought it was the dumbest idea in the world, but Jack Black became a millionaire off of this, uh, idea, and he decides to live in the same neighborhood, but just build his mansion across the street, because they live across the street from each other. So it's like Jack Black's wealth is always in Ben Stiller's face while he he still keeps going to the same old job that they used both they used to both go to the same old job carpool together but now he's a millionaire and he's still doing the same thing and just the process of what they go through um with the uh with the with the with the the situation, but it's really, I mean, it's definitely a good watch. I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's the best comedy in the world, um, but it's worth it's worth the watch. It's definitely worth the watch, and it's a one that I think a lot of people miss because I it might have just came out on DVD for all I know, you know, because I never saw a commercial for it or heard much about it, and that's my uh, movie review of the day.